I attempted to beat every PvP Legacy game mode without armor, and here's how it went. Starting with the kits that took the least amount of attempts and working our way up, we're here with bow PvP, which only took 8 attempts, mainly because nobody sweats bow and I am above average at this game. As you can see from the clip, my main strategy was to just charge the bow, let go, and jump either to the right or the left immediately afterward, and this got me the win pretty quickly. Axe PvP. I mean, this game was like a literal joke. Uh, there's a reason that whenever anyone's doing a challenge video, they're playing Axe. It's because it's really easy. I mean, I didn't even have a reaction because it was barely different than the normal games that I play. Trust me, I am just as surprised as you are to see that Crystal PvP only took me 24 attempts, seeing as I literally could not attack without popping a totem. I think I just lucked out and got a really bad opponent early on, but I mean, I'm, I'll take it. For UHC, I started off by building a wall so that I couldn't get hit by arrows, uh, tried to optimize my gappling by gappling after I already got damage dealt, and spammed the heck out of the lava. Yes, I know I changed it to where there's only one round and one gapple, but at the end of the day, it's my video, and if you have a problem, you can stop watching, but please don't. Don't kill my retention, please. Before we go over sword PvP, I wanted to go over this game, where this guy asked if this was for a video, and I told him yes, and then he purposefully let me win. Thank you, but that does not satisfy me. I'm not even gonna edit up this game, because I already know that most of you guys are gonna say that it's faked. But anyway, this got intense. Let's go! Holy sh- oh my gosh! That was it for the video. If you want to see me play 100 games of PvP Legacy without ruining my win streak, click the video on the right. Other than that, have a great day.